yes, and wiggly fingers like this, because we need to activate our magical fingers. Now, as you know, students, dinosaur hunters have to look for fossils, don't they? We have to do a bit of digging, we have to find clues and tracks, and you never guess what I found. You never guess. I have found the best magic wand in the whole entire world. Can everybody do this face? <gasps> I know. It is it's quite a discovery, to be honest. I'm really, really excited. Now, if you want to see the best magic wand in the whole wide world, can you show me your muscles like this? Oh, okay, I'll show you. I'll show you, but I must warn you, it doesn't look like the magic wands that we use nowadays. This is obviously a very old magic wand, so it looks a little bit, was a little bit big. And it looks a little bit silly, but it is the best magic wand in the whole wide world. So let me show you. Are you ready to see the best magic wand? Ready? One, two, three. Look at the size of that. Oh, everybody do this face. Oh, I know. It's ginormous, just like the dinosaurs. But let me tell you some interesting facts that I've learned about this magic wand. This magic wand has never, ever broken and we are going to use this magic wand today to do some very special magic for Gabriel's birthday so what we're going to do i'm going to take this magic uh where's my magic wand gone let's go oh it's on the floor oh, oh no have i just broken the best magic wand in the whole wide world that's not supposed to happen uh right i'm going to pop this on very quickly there we go like that Pop that hand on there like that, there we go. And then we can carry on with my magic show. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take this magic wand. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? On the floor. Oh, oh no, I've broken it again. Uh, right, I tell you what, I'm gonna have to put this on really, really hard this time. So it's not gonna fall off because I think it's playing tricks on me. So I'm gonna put this on really, 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 really hard. There we go, we've got it. So we've got one. And we've got two. <gasps> it's not that. It's broken again. Right, I tell you what, we cannot use this to do magic today, can we? We can't use this. I don't think it's the best magic wand in the world at all. But I think what might be good, I might be able to use it as a telescope to look for dinosaurs. So I'm going to do a test. I'm going to hold up my telescope like this, and when I do, you're all going to pretend to be dinosaurs, okay? So after three, I'm going to hold up my telescope like this, and you're going to show me your best dinosaur statues. So you can put your claws out, you're going to do a big roar, and I'll give you a big wave. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's have a look. <gasps> Any dinosaurs out there? Make yourself known. Oh, look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, loads of dinosaurs. Fantastic. Give yourselves a round of applause. Very good practicing. Very good. Well, I'll tell you what, we can't, we can't use this one. This is no good. But I do have another one. I have got another one that I've been keeping for a very special occasion. This is the first magic wand that was ever ever invented so it's just as old as the dinosaurs are now this one is shiny and silver now i know what you're thinking jess that's not shiny and silver that's bogey green that is not shiny and silver at all but i tell you what it's inside here so what i want you to do when i take it out of its packet i want everybody to do this noise Ooh, can you have a little practice are you ready one two three everybody go Woo! Very good, very good. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the magic wand. And remember the fancy noise to go with it. Are you ready? One, two, three. Ooh, look how shiny and silver this magic wand is. It is the first magic wand to ever be used. But something you may not know about magic wands, if it is not your magic wand, you cannot use it because it plays tricks on you. And this is not mine. This is a very, very old magic wand. So I tell you what, we should pop this one and keep this nice and safe because we could put it in a museum with all the dinosaur artifacts, you know? So I'm gonna keep this one in its packet here. Uh, hold, hold on a minute. I thought I'd just put that back inside it. 
Right, sorry about that. So I'm going to keep that nice and safe in there so it doesn't get dirty or anything like that. We're going to keep it nice and safe. And then maybe I'll put it in the... What are you pointing at? What? No, there's nothing behind me. It's just... Oh, I've had it wand. He's doing... He's playing tricks on me. Right. Stay in there. There we go. No. Stay in there. No. Right, everybody, can you get your finger out like this and say, stay in there, stay in there. Right, no moving. I think we've done it. I think we've got it. Whew, that's a relief. So now we can carry on with my magic show. We can, no, stop it, stop it. Oh. Um, I think it's best we put this one away, don't you? I don't think we can use this magic wand. No, I tell you what, we're gonna have to use a magical, Fingers. Can I see your magical fingers? Very good. Of course, every dinosaur hunter knows that fingers are very, very magical. And you all have magical fingers too. So let me just check for our first test. I need to see if anybody is good at colouring in and drawing pictures. Let's have a look. Put your hands in the air if you like colouring in. Good, because sometimes we need to draw our dinosaurs that we find, you see. So hands in the air if you like colouring in, yeah. Hands in the air if you like colouring in uh, with your pens and pencils. Yeah, good. Put your hands in the air if you like colouring in all over the walls at home. All over the walls at home. All over the walls? Uh oh, uh, that's expensive. <laughs> Put your hands in the air. Hey, what about this one? Put your hands in the air if you like colouring in all over your dad's face when he's fast asleep. And you draw a little moustache and some glasses on him. Yes, I do. This is my favourite kind of colouring in. <laughs> and put your hands in the air if you like colouring in pictures. Anybody like colouring in pictures? Brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to test your drawing skills just in case we need to draw any dinosaurs on our adventure. So I have got a very old magic colouring ink book and I'm going to show you all the pictures inside here. We've got some, we've got some clowns, we've got circus, lots and lots of pictures, but I wonder, Gabri, do you know what all these pictures are missing? Do you know what they all might be missing? Let's have a look at them again. What do you think we're missing from all these pictures? What, what do we need to do to them to bring them to life, do you think? Uh, colouring. Colours, that's absolutely right. We need to do some colouring in, but not just any colouring in. No, no, no. We need to colour in using magic. So what I want you to do, first of all, you're gonna go like this. Shh, because I'm gonna tell you a magical secret. And you can't tell anybody, okay? A magical secret. So promise me, shh, you're not gonna tell anybody, okay? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your hands like this, wiggle your fingers, make sure they've got lots of magic. And now you need to go and find all the colors we need for our pictures. So for example, if I needed lots and lots of pink, I'm gonna rub my t-shirt and pull the colors off my, into my hands. So what I want you to do, I want you to rub your clothes and find any objects around your room that we could use for colours. And once you've got the colours, you're going to rub the colours, pull them off and hold them in your hands. Are you ready? Find me those colours, so rub your clothes. If you've got anything in the room, I've got a big red box down here. I'm going to rub my big red box, get those colours. I'm going to take my colours off my jacket, get all those colours, rub, 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 rub. Some red, some blue, some green, some orange. Very good. And pull the colours off and hold them into your hands. Hold them nice and tight. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to throw the colours at me. But don't throw them on my face, okay? Obviously, we don't want colours on my face. We want them to go into my hands. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw me the colours. Go! Uh, uh, hold on, who's trying to throw them on my face? Was anybody trying to throw them on my face? Oh, a few of you, you cheeky monkeys. I see you, good job. I am good at catching. So I'm gonna hold them nice and tight. I'm gonna shake them all up like this. And then I'm gonna throw them back at you. Now, dinosaur hunters, if you don't catch them, they're gonna go all over your face. 
to make sure you catch. Are you ready? After three, ready? One, oh, hold on a minute. Two, oh, ready? One, two, and three. Catch! Catch the colours and put them inside your mouth, nice and quick. Oh. And chew them round. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Swallow. And rub them around in your tummies. Now, what we need to do, we need to take all the colours from our tummies and put them into this colouring book. Has anybody got any ideas? How are we going to get them out of our tummies and into this book? Let's have a look. Oh, little Tyler there, you've got a suggestion. What can we do? How are we going to get them out of our tummies? What can we do? <laughs> See it. Ah, poo. <laughs> 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 should poop them out. Oh my goodness me. Who thinks that's a good idea? Who thinks we should poop them out? Um, a lot of people actually. <laughs> Raise hands. Um, that's a lot of mess to clean up though, isn't it, Tyler? It's a lot of uh, dinosaur poop we don't need to clear up. Good yeah. suggestion though. <laughs> I like that. Any other hygienic suggestions? Any other suggestions? What else could we do? Uh, oh, oh, hold on. There is one I know of. We could try blowing all the colours into the book. Should we try that? We'll give it a go. Why not? So after three, you're going to blow all the colours into the book. Are you ready? One, two, and three. Throw the colours into the book. Blow. <laughs> And let's have a look. Did it work? Do we have lots of magical colours? We've got red and green. No? No colours. No colours. Hold on a minute. Uh, Gabri, I need to ask you a question. I need your birthday advice. Uh, Gabri, do you think people need to blow a bit harder this time? Yeah, he's nodding his head. And Gabriel's in charge because it's his birthday. So after three, we need to blow as hard as we can. Are you ready? One two take a deep breath in <gasps> three and blow <sighs> very good and let's have a look do we have all the magical colors no you sure oh it's not it's not working okay hold on let me show you this is the first time coloring in using magic so let me show you a little tip this is how professional dinosaur hunters do this magic trick. Watch me. You need to blow like this. Watch. <gasps> now, do you think you can blow like that? Yeah, I thought so. Are you ready? After three, blow as hard as you can, like a dinosaur hunter. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> oh, I think I got some spit in my eye. Oh, that's gross. Thank you. And just in case, Let's say some magic words. Has anybody got any suggestions for magic words? Put your hands in the air if you know any magic words. What can we use? Uh, let's have a look. Let's ask this young man here. If it pops up on your screen, I just need to click confirm. The one that says Jennifer's iPhone. I'm looking at you, young man. Abracadabra. We said we heard an abracadabra. I like it. Okay, so after three, we're going to shout abracadabra. Ready? One, two, three. Abracadabra. And wiggle those fingers. Let's have a look. Do we have lots of magical colours? Give yourself a big round of applause. Good job. Look, ooh, look at that one. Thank you to everybody who gave me those colours, but the purple has gone a very long way. Well done. I am very impressed. You have passed the first test to be a dinosaur hunter. Show me those muscles. Excellent work. Now, I've got something very exciting to show you, actually. I have brought along with me my best friend. Now, you might think, as a dinosaur hunter, I don't like dinosaurs. But, in fact, that's wrong. I love dinosaurs. And, in fact... I've got one as a best friend. Would you like to meet him? Would you like to meet him? His name is Rory, okay? And what we need to do after three, he's asleep at the moment, of course, on a Saturday afternoon, fast asleep, we need to wake him up. So after three, we're gonna say, wake up Rory, okay? I'm gonna put 
you all on loud so you can all shout out loud so then unmute all your microphones and after three we're all going to shout wake up rory are you ready one two three and let me have a look uh, no Still fast asleep, we're gonna to have to be much louder. Imagine you're a dinosaur already. Wake up, Rory. One, two, three. Wow! That was much, much better. And here he is. Say hello, Rory. Ah, rah, 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 rah. There he is, Rory the dinosaur. Now he has been my best friend for a couple of years now. As you can see, Rory is still just a little baby dinosaur and I'm looking after him at the moment until he becomes big and strong to go off into the wild himself. Now, something you might not know about dinosaurs, but dinosaurs love to play games. Oh, Gabriel's got a dinosaur there as well. Fantastic, a dinosaur friend for Rory. Ra 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 ra. Very good. Um, but actually, dinosaurs love to play games, and Rory's favourite game is in fact fetch. I know. Of all games, he loves to play fetch. And I've got his favourite ball here. And I throw the ball really, really far. Rory runs after it as fast as he can, and he brings it back to me. But Rory, we're not allowed to play fetch indoors, are we? No, we're not allowed because. Rory stomps all over the place and he smashes things up. And although he's a little dinosaur, he can make quite a lot of mess. So Rory, we're gonna take this ball and we'll play fetch outside after the party. How does that sound? Good idea. Can everybody say, good dinosaur, good dinosaur. Very good. So I'm gonna put this ball away. So what we can do, we can then carry on with the rest of our show. So now I've taken the ball out of his mouth, we can cat, uh, Rory. I thought, I just said, we're not allowed to play. He's taking the ball. Rory, look, we can't play fetch indoors, okay? Good dinosaur. Everybody say, good dinosaur. Good dinosaur. Yes, you listen. So I'm gonna put this ball away and pop it in my pocket there. And then we can carry on with the rest of the magic show. So what are we gonna do? I'm gonna, what? What are you laughing at? It's not in his mouth again. Rory, would you, look, I've told you. Stop being a cheeky dinosaur. Can you say, everybody, we can't play fetch in here? We can't play fetch in here, right? Good, okay. So, like I was saying, Rory is gonna show us how to be a dinosaur. Rory, look, we can't play fetch. I forgot to tell you, everybody, he's also a cheeky dinosaur. Goodness me, what can I say? Now, oh, oh, you would. <gasps> Boys and girls, Rory would like to show you his favorite magic trick. Would you still like to see a magic trick with a dinosaur? You'd like to see a magic trick with a dinosaur? Excellent, so I'm gonna need your help. I've got some magical hankies here. Does anybody know what color this handkerchief is? If you do, shout it out. It's purple, that's right. Now Rory, look after my purple handkerchief for me. Hold that in your jaws there. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tell you how to make um, hankies disappear. So I'm gonna take the purple handkerchief, I'm gonna take it from Rory's, uh, where did my purple handkerchief go? Where, where's it gone? In his tummy? He's eaten it. Rory, did you eat my purple handkerchief? He said no. Uh, what? He said it was one of you, was it one of you? Did you eat my, no. Hmm, right, luckily I do have another one. What colour is this one? Yellow, that's right. So Rory, hold on to my yellow handkerchief nice and tightly there. Got it? Good boy. Right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take the yellow handkerchief, I'm gonna make sure it stays in his mouth, and then we're gonna do a magic. Rory! Rory, where did my mouth, where did it go? Where did it go? Who's eaten it? Have I eaten it? No. It's, Rory's eating it. Are you sure? Rory, did you eat my yellow handkerchief? He said, he said no. Is he being a cheeky, is he being a cheeky dinosaur? Yeah, I think you might be right. Luckily, I've got one more. What colour is this one? 
red. Now, Rory, this is the last one. Your favourite colour, hold it nice and tight. Dinosaur hunters, this is where I need your help. If the handkerchief starts to go missing, you need to wave your hands as fast as you can like this, okay? Are you ready? So what we're gonna do, we are gonna take the red, waving, wave. no, 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 he's still got it. You need to wave your hands when he, when he eats it, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the red handkerchief, we're gonna take it and we're gonna, why are you waving your hands? We're, 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 oh no, we missed it. Oh, was it Rory again? You, you sure? Rory the dinosaur, did you eat my handkerchiefs? Yes. Oh, you cheeky, cheeky dinosaur. What are we going to do with you, eh? And he said, oh. Oh, he says it's all part of the magic trick because he can make the handkerchiefs reappear inside my empty pot. But we need to do some magic words. And the magic words, of course, are abracadabra. And then we're going to do a big roar at the end. So we've got abracadabra, roar! Are you ready? Everybody as loud as you can. Abracadabra, roar. Ready? One, two, three. Abracadabra, roar! And let's have a look. Oh, hold on, you hold that there. We've got a purple one and a yellow one and a red one. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Well done, Rory. Very good magic trick. Good boy. A magical dinosaur. I'm very, very impressed. Well done. Everybody say, well done, Rory. Give a big thumbs up. Right. I take Yes, I think you're right. He says doing magic tricks makes him very sleepy. So he's going to go and have a little snooze. Everyone say bye, Rory. Bye. Very good. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, Rory. We'll see you a bit later. Bye.